live and in HD. This is ABC 7 News at 11 on your side. Also new tonight before email, before texting and before tweeting, people actually used the phone or met in person to arrange dates. But relationship experts are now noticing an alarming new trend that could be short circuiting romance. As Jennifer Donnellan reports, technology is getting in the way of love, often preventing couples from even meeting. Texting before talking, engaging on email. Is it all becoming a digital drain on romance? It's the dating way now. I mean, that's how you start your relationships. Some end their relationships, text messaging. It's day of the times, I guess. Instead of picking up the phone or meeting face to face, it appears singles are turning to technology. A recent AT&T survey found 67% of people have used text messages to flirt and 28% text their significant other at least three times a day. It's everywhere. Everyone is texting. Everyone is emailing and it just seems to be a diffused focus on dating these days. Christy Nightingale is a matchmaker with a DC dating service. She calls it an electronic epidemic and says it's causing clients to give up on courting. She believes the back and forth texts or emails can cause a would be couple to crash. It seems to be prolonging the process of people connecting and actually meeting one another to establish a relationship. DC residents agree. You don't know how they really feel about you because they're, they're just sending words to you other than talking to you over the yeah. phone. Some people will say that, you know, hey, you text too much or I wish you could use the phone. The phone's more personal. I've heard stories of people being broken up with over text, email. You know, I think that's just, you know, using technology as a cop out. Experts warn constantly hitting the send button instead of being up close and personal can zap social skills. In a nation where 51% of marriages end in divorce, counselors say stop texting and start talking. Experts say high tech dating is taking the thrill out of courtship and short circuiting romance. They recommend limiting texts and emails and instead calling a person and having a conversation or better yet, meeting face to face. A time-tested tradition that works. I'm Jennifer Donnellan, ABC 7 News.